FCC Yaya Bello's attempt to bribe George Exposed, PDP chieftain reacts to alleged leaked charts. The 2023 People Democratic Party PDP candidate for Dekina Basa Federal House of Representative Usman Okai has brought to light an alleged attempt by former Kogi State Governor Yahaya Bello to bribe a judge. This revelation stemmed from leaked WhatsApp group chat involving the State Commissioner for Information, King Zifanwo, and others. Hokai condemned Fanwo's involvement in the leaked group chat, urging him to refrain, refrain from further commentary. He accused the Commissioner of being complicit in the various challenges facing Kogi State. In a statement, Okai described the league chat as a divine revelation and called for Fanwo's apology instead of his defense, asserting that attempting to sway justice with dollars is unacceptable. According to Okai, Fanwo's trajectory from being a media assistant to Captain Wada's deputy, Yemi Awoniyi, to his current position illustrates his lack of grasp on the state's realities. Okai criticized Fanwo once seen as a potential governor from the Okun tribe for allegedly betraying trust and integrity by resorting to bribery. Despite Fanwo's denial, Okai emphasized that the truth has been exposed by those within his inner circle. He accused Fanwo of being deceitful about the state's finances and suggested that the commissioner's loyalty to Yaya Bello has clouded his judgment. Okai highlighted the fate of other individuals who were once loyal to Bello but were eventually disillusioned. He insinuated that Fanwo's ambitions might lead to his downfall if he fails to learn from the experiences of others. Part of his statement read as, He was a young boy who was supposed to understand the reality on the ground. Unfortunately, the evangelist who is supposed to represent truth is now planning to bribe judges with dollars. It's unfortunate that the commissioner's denial is expected because he was exposed by those he trusted. They are the same people who want liberation for the people of Kogi State. Describing Fanwo as a self-proclaimed evangelist who lacks genuine faith, Okai warned that ultimately justice will prevail. He emphasized the importance of reporting the attempted bribery to relevant authorities for investigation. In conclusion, Oka emphasized the consequences of unethical behavior and urged Fanwo to acknowledge the gravity of his actions. He stressed the need for accountability and integrity in governance, asserting that attempts to manipulate the judicial process will not go unchecked. And this is the news for today. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel to get more news like this.